Military revolutions do not always arrive with parades or press releases. Some happen quietly, behind factory walls and inside research labs, where incremental changes slowly reshape power. That is exactly how Moscow transformed its missile shield. The S-500 was already a formidable system, but it was never meant to be the final word. While global attention focused elsewhere, Russia refined its approach, upgraded its technology, and reimagined what air defense could be. The result is the S-600, a system that represents not a sudden leap, but a carefully engineered transformation. In this video, we explore how Moscow quietly evolved from the S-500 to the S-600, and why this transformation matters more than many realized. The S-500 entered service as a statement of intent. It demonstrated that Russia could challenge high-altitude threats and operate across multiple layers of air and near-space defense. Yet from the moment it was deployed, Russian engineers were already collecting data, identifying inefficiencies, and testing limitations. The S-500 was treated less like a finished product and more like a live prototype for something more advanced. The transformation toward the S-600 did not begin with new missiles, but with new thinking. Russian planners recognized that future conflicts would not be decided by raw speed alone, but by awareness and coordination. The S-600 was conceived as a system that could understand the air environment continuously, not just react when threats appeared on radar screens. One of the most important changes from S-500 to S-600 lies in how information is processed. The S-600 uses artificial intelligence to analyze vast streams of sensor data in real time. Instead of operators manually interpreting radar returns, AI systems filter, prioritize, and contextualize targets automatically. This quiet shift dramatically shortens decision cycles and reduces human error. The manufacturing process behind the S-600 reflects this same philosophy of precision and efficiency. Russia invested in automated production lines where robotic systems assemble and test components with minimal variation. Radar elements, missile bodies, and launch systems are built using advanced materials designed to withstand extreme stress. Compared to the S-500, this approach produces systems that are more consistent and easier to maintain. Range has always been central to missile defense, and the S-600 extends this advantage further. Detection capabilities now allow tracking of targets at greater distances, providing more time to evaluate intent and response options. This extended reach gives Russia the ability to influence air operations well before aircraft approach defended zones. Power improvements also mark a quiet but critical evolution. The S-600's interceptors benefit from enhanced propulsion technologies that provide rapid acceleration without sacrificing control. This allows missiles to engage fast-moving or high-altitude targets more effectively. The increase in power is not just about speed, but about sustained performance throughout the intercept. Guidance systems represent another area of transformation. Where the S-500 relied on structured engagement paths, the S-600 employs adaptive guidance. Missiles receive continuous updates from the Central Command Network, allowing them to adjust mid-flight. This makes evasive maneuvers far less effective and increases interception reliability. Robotic technology plays a supporting but crucial role in the S-600's operation. Autonomous platforms handle missile transport, reload procedures, and system inspections. Robotic maintenance units monitor performance and identify faults before they cause failures. This reduces downtime and keeps the system operational for longer periods with fewer personnel. The S-600 was also designed with endurance in mind. Redundant components, distributed sensors, and automated diagnostics allow the system to continue functioning even when parts of the network are degraded. This resilience makes it difficult to neutralize quickly and increases confidence in sustained operations. Another quiet change is how the S-600 integrates with other defense assets. It functions as part of a broader network rather than a standalone system. Information is shared across multiple platforms, creating overlapping detection and engagement zones. This networked structure reduces blind spots and increases overall effectiveness. From a strategic perspective, the S-600 strengthens Russia's ability to shape airspace behavior without firing a single missile. Aircraft planners must account for its presence, altering routes, altitudes, and mission timing. This influence extends Russia's reach beyond its physical borders and into strategic decision-making. 
The dominance of the S-600 is not rooted in intimidation, but in predictability. Its consistent performance and automated responses reduce uncertainty for Russian planners while increasing it for adversaries. This imbalance creates hesitation and forces more cautious operational planning. Globally, the quiet transformation from S-500 to S-600 has not gone unnoticed. Defense analysts recognize that such systems challenge long-standing assumptions about air superiority. The focus shifts from penetrating defenses to managing risk and exposure over longer timelines. The evolution also highlights Russia's ability to adapt industrially. By refining manufacturing methods and integrating automation, Moscow has improved its capacity to sustain and expand advanced systems. This industrial confidence underpins long-term military capability. Ultimately, the transformation from S-500 to S-600 shows how power can evolve without spectacle. Through careful upgrades, intelligent integration, and quiet persistence, Moscow reshaped its missile shield into something far more capable than before. What makes the S-600 significant is not a single breakthrough, but the sum of many subtle changes. Together, they form a system that controls space, time, and decision-making in the air domain. And in modern warfare, that kind of control defines true strength. Share your thoughts below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and join us next time as we explore more of the world's most advanced military technologies.